So the stupid nail polish is not opening right now. I shouldn't say the nail polish is stupid because it's obviously my own fault. A bunch of it leached into the cap because I laid it on the side. So I guess if you pour a bunch of water in and put it in upside down, that's supposed to work. It's supposed to be hot water, so don't burn yourselves now. Let's go put in a little more. I guess you put it upside down. You let it wait. I don't think your nail polish should be touching it, so you just want to keep it to the cap. As you guys have noticed, I've actually been changing my nail polish a lot, but I don't want to change it anymore. I just want to go back. <laughs> some more. I don't know. Okay, let's go try it now. Oh, it's giving a little. Oh, there we go. So it works. Probably just going to clean this up with a little bit of acetone in there too. Ah, oh, words. Okay, nail polish salvage. So now you guys know that that trick works. So if you guys ever have a nail polish that's stuck, just stick it upside down in some hot water. So I just did my nails. If you guys want to see the tutorial on how I do my French, you guys can click this box right here because I do my own French. I figured I would just add in some quick notes. So I found that the water level works best right here in between the lid and the bottle. I would try not to let the hot water actually touch too much of the nail polish though. I would try as hard as I could to get the water level right here. Because I feel like it's really hot water if the nail polish is sitting in it. It would definitely maybe warp the product a little bit and make it separate. I just, I don't know, I think it'd be better to keep the hot water as much away from the nail polish as you possibly can. But it definitely works and that way you can save your nail polish. So, I don't know, quick little tip I just learned on a Google search. <laughs> so there you guys go. Oh, I figured I'd show you guys something of interest. So this is chrysanthemum tea. It's actually kind of flower, so it's not a tea leaf. It has no caffeine, so I remember quite a few of you guys were talking about how you couldn't drink green tea, especially if it was at night, because obviously the caffeine might be keeping you up. But chrysanthemum tea obviously has no caffeine. And it's actually naturally sweet, mild. It's supposed to help digestion of oily food and the like. And it actually does feel really good after you eat an oily meal like dim sum. But yeah, I just figured I'd show that to you guys. You guys can buy it at Asian supermarkets, but it's honestly a lot better if you guys get it through an apothecary. But they'll sell you these really big bricks, so what I do is I put the brick into a glass container in the fridge and I just take out a few flowers at a time. I usually actually had a teapot. Obviously, if a teapot with a strainer, it's a little bit better, but I don't have my teapot anymore, so meh. <laughs> I had to get a new one. But this works as well, I guess, as long as you don't inhale any of them. But it's really good and very soothing. I like it a lot.